Hello everybody, welcome back to Fire Emblem 3, Mystery of the Emblem Semi-Blind Iron Man Book 2, Chapter 10, Two Sorcerers. I'm Ethel Zenith, and I hope you enjoy. Cadena is a free city. It is not under the rule of any country, and is an independent country. Under the ruling arch archbishop are numerous high bishops, and the city is run with their cooperation. However, because Archbishop Ganef joined forces with Tuhura in the previous war, the city was dragged into conflict and destruction. After losing all the High Bishops, Kadain was ruled by the newly elected Archbishop Wendell, who began the first steps along the road to re reconstruction. But Wendell, in order to complete his mission from Gato, left Kadain in the care of two youths, Merrick and Ilarion. They were both skilled youths, with high hopes placed upon them. Look at this. Look at this. We have blocked squares. We have. Oh, these are blocked as well. So, how do we get to the treasure chests? Because there's a treasure chest over here. And a treasure chest over here. I wonder if we need to use warp to get to them. We might. Unless we can somehow move through these blocked squares. Live staff. Or maybe that's what the thief staff does? Does the thief staff steal from others, or does the thief staff open treasure chests from afar? There's Ilarion. There's the Ares Shard. Thoron spell. Pretty good stats all around. He's a level 10 mage. Some other mages scattered all around here. Elfire, mercenaries with iron swords. Yeah, these guys are pretty much nothing. Uh, worm bishops, those are annoying. Killing sword mercenary, he's pretty threatening. Aside from his low attack power. But yeah, beyond that, there's really not too much threatening going on with this map. A lot of mages, but... If you have high resistance, you'll be fine. Unfortunately, all my characters with high resistance are mounted, and they lose that resistance when they unmount. Who had that thief staff? Um, let's trade that away to Malicia. Opens faraway chests. Oh, it is specifically for Malicia. Interesting. Okay. Sure. Yeah, so this map is basically designed. You have a couple chests that Malicia has to open with the Thief Staff, otherwise, you can't get them. And then beyond that, it's pretty much just down to. Beyond that, it's pretty much just down to uh, taking care of the mages and getting Wendell to the boss. And another little mechanic that, if it's the same as FE12, you'll see shortly. I love how his name on the thing, it's Gordon, but he just shortens it to Gordo. That's funny. It's important to bring Melicia. Is there anyone else we want to bring? Probably Yamina. And then... Do we have enough attackers? I don't know if we do. Um, bring in Kashim. Let's bring Gordon as well. Could bring Bantu, but I'm worried about his low resistance. At, at that said, uh, he has high hit points. Yeah, 
Julian, Doga, Magma. A low skill. Oh yeah, Cashin could use a bit more skill. Cashin could use a bit more a lot of things. Wendell actually is quite low on skill. Okay, so let's let's sort out our items, shall we? Doga take a Silver Lance, a Killer Lance, and a Slim Lance. Also, I'll give you the... Um, Scorpio and Leo and Virgo. The secret book. Uh, you can get a Silver Sword. Most items, take a Vulnerary, Tauros Shard, Cancer Gemini. I know it's good to be stacking these shards like this, but I am. Most items, we'll give you the other secret book, and the Capricorn Shard. Any staves I want you to use? Ah, uh, another the live staff. Let's see, looks good to me. Uh, Malicia. Uh, what spells do I have available? Blizzard? Just not too much. I could give you Resire. I'm not sure that'll be too effective. Uh, I do have. I have given out all of the uh, shards, right? Little Doga, Marth, Catua. Okay, so there's still one more on Catua. I could give out. There we go, Libra. Um, you can get the Vulnerary from Kachua. Athena can take a Vulnerary and then she can give it to whoever she dances for. It sounds sounds reasonable. Bantu can take a Vulnerary. Okay, and that should be all the vulneraries, all of the important items. Does everyone have weapons? Looks good to me. Let's do this. Merrick, our match is due. Wait, Alarian, why must we fight? We both studied in Master Wendell. Why do you hate me so much? I became master's, master's student before you, and I was st stronger than you. Yet he gave Excalibur, which should have been mine, to you. Why, Merrick? Is it because you're a noble of Arisha? I was so angry. I believed I was going to be master's successor. Is that it? I'm sorry, Alarian. I'll apologize to you. I've never once thought about succeeding master. I don't hate Kadane, but I already decided to return to my homeland upon finishing my studies. Arisha, there's somebody I wish to protect with my whole life. So that's why Master Wendell's success for successor can only be you. Valerian, please. To reclaim Arisha, will you lend me your strength? Arisha? A country that betrayed the Akanea Empire and so was invaded by them? Why should I help them? Our mage army has already sworn loyalty to Emperor Harden. Right. So it was you. It was you who brought the Arishan army here. No, it's all a misunderstanding. Shut up, you traitor. I'm not going to listen to your lies anymore. Will your Excalibur prevail, or, my th or will it be my Thoron? Come, let us find out. Yeah. So, um... Here's Merrick. He's level 10. Pretty decent stats, only 3 resistance. 
He has basically the same stats as Alarian, except for two less weapon level. But he has the ability to use Excalibur, which inherently gives him... Well, I guess they're insanely... like, they're very equally matched. But Merrick has uh, 20 more crit because of Excalibur, and that's basically the only difference. But what you don't want to do is have them attack each other. Because you can recruit Alarian with Wendell. Again, if everything is as it was, as I remember it from FE12. So this Killing Sword Mercenary is really threatening. Let's see, Marth can walk on the water. Navar can walk on the water. So what we need to do is just send someone, whoever it is, up here, kill this mercenary, and we can come back down, kill the bishops. And if we're able to do that, we should be fine. Because these two swarm bishops are really the only things in our way. Oh, and I guess Alarian also has the throne, so he has 30% extra avoid. Which doesn't necessarily make a difference, because it kind of counters Excalibur's naturally high uh, hit rate. So in reality, they are pretty evenly matched. It just it comes down to if someone got a lucky crit. But you don't want them to fight, so don't do that. I think Wendell can cross the water as well, because he's a promoted unit. Don't know for sure. Just wait here. And this is one point when having a sniper would be better than having a hunter, because... Horsemen degrade back to hunters when they're inside. Okay, I don't know if it really matters who we kill, so long as we kill them both as soon as we can. Dropping it down to one bishop really helps matters. It's only 11 attack once instead of twice we have to deal with. Wonder how's What's the best way to do this? Probably this, actually. Have you wait? Have you move forward? Use the thief staff? Yeah, we can't cross the other places, so these are made for the thief staff. Ding. Silent staff. Temporarily stops an enemy's magic. That's useful. Uh, we can send the Hamern to supply. Uh, item, trade, Earth Q. Can you use the silence? You can't. Weapon level 10 required. Should be able to use magic shield, though. I can magic shield Doga giving him the resistance he needs to effectively tank mages. Oh, Julian can cross the water. Hooray for Thief Glass. This chapter ultimately isn't too difficult. It's mostly just a matter of... of not getting caught in a position where you get overwhelmed by too many mages at once. I 
And if you can do that, then you're pretty much golden. Oh. Oh. Come on, don't crit each other, please. I will not lose to Merrick. His friends are my enemies. Die. Thoron! Uh, no one crit each other, please. Okay. Um, hmm. Mm. Well, now. All of the healers are moving because there's one injured person that they can take care of. I think I'm going to need to use that last use of the rescue staff. Uh, no, no. Okay, so that invalidates the best ending right there. I've successfully lost the best ending now. All because Merrick died, and, and Wendell can't even cross the, cross the water. You know what, I just want to kill Larian right now and not have to worry about it. No, I really shouldn't. But I want to. Yeah, so I guess what you need to do is you actually need to rescue Merrick out of there. Otherwise he does die to 44% hit chance. What the freak, man? How rude. How rude. Walk on the water when you're not a dragon, but when you're a dragon, you can't. What the heck? Doesn't even make sense. Okay. Who can avoid getting crit and dying? And there's Magic Shield Marth. Because he has enough raw hit points to survive a crit. on that. It's not a kill. Steel Sword should be a kill. Yeah. I'm deeply upset by this. Like, I might not sound like it, because I'm just kind of a more moderate person, but that actually ticks me off a lot. Because it means the final, well, one, the final level is so much harder. Two, Merrick's dead anyway. Three, some other third thing. Yeah, this creates a lot of problems for me. Sending Doga up that way is probably the best bet that I can have. Unlikely that anyone else will really be able to do much. And now it's a matter of trying to figure out how to bait out these fire mages without also dying. They only have five speed, right? Oh, they have three speed. And those mages are terrible. All these units suck! Except for Alarian and those stupid swarm bishops. So I really wish that I had rescued Merrick, because I thought I thought Alarian would have stayed on the throne. But I guess not. That That upsets me. I guess Alarian got what he wanted. A jerk. But it wasn't even him that killed Merrick, it was freaking 
the swarm bishop who shouldn't have even been a factor in the first place. There we go, General Doga. General Doga, show us your might. Merrick didn't have any shards on him, did he? I don't think he did. Pretty sure he didn't. Pretty sure he only came with the one. Um. Okay, split your fire. I thought that they would all just dogpile on Kashim, but I guess not. Thanks, you might have saved Kashim with that. Yeah, once you lose one unit, you get upset, and then you just start playing poorly. Story of the Iron Man run. Something else I could have done. Sir, Wendell could have acted. Could have gotten the silence staff with the thief staff, given it to Wendell. Wendell uses it to silence Alarian. That way Alarian can't cast any freaking magic. That would have been a lot smarter of a decision for me to have made. Unfortunately, that wasn't the decision I made. And now I have to live with... Literally, I can't get the best ending because of this now. This sucks. And I'm not going to reset like I did with... I don't know. I'm not going to reset. It's stupid, and I'm going to keep a separate save file probably, but I'm not going to reset. Wait. That silences all enemy mages? I did not know that. That's... Probably for only one turn, but that is... That's... Oh, it silences literally everyone. Literally every mage. Does it silence yourself? Yes, it does. Wow. I did not know that, and that is both cool and stupid. You know what? I'm playing so poorly, it's like... want to do is reset. Everything then every fiber of my being is telling me to reset right now. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. It's a horrible thing to have happen. gonna do it. Merrick's just dead. I guess he was dead at the end of book one anyway, due, due to a stupid failure on my part, but this is somehow next level failure because because it was the first freaking turn, man. I did, I tried to save him, but I couldn't. And I could have saved him if I used the rescue staff, but I didn't want to use the rescue staff. And so now he's just dead. Watch, watch Banju go on a rampage because he's upset. Because I'm upset. Hmm. Watch Wendell not be able to do anything. He's a mage and he can't get anywhere. that silence was basically global silence. 
Um, yeah. As I said, playing stupid. Is magic back on? Yes, it is. Okay. Stab the Merc. I actually don't kill him. Dogu can't take any damage, but I still don't kill the Merc. Weak as he is. I can kill this Merc. I can kill him just fine. Go, Julian. Woo. Be happy. Yeah. I shouldn't have recorded this day. Literally everything's going wrong for me today. In, like, every aspect of my life right now. And it's just like... Well, I guess now add losing a key member of the game and a requirement for best ending. Add that to the list. like things can get any worse. Need to use all fire to kill these mages anyway. Unless I crit like that. Good job, Wendell. Grab the other chest no one can reach. Oh, and unlock staff. That could be useful. So this is where all those staves originated from. I'll say it's faster for Mark to cross the water. I'm just gonna wait him right there. And then next turn, moving forward. Iron Sword can kill. <laughs> Parried. Yeah, these mercs are not that strong. Not that strong at all. You don't have blizzard, do you? Blender, fire, and else up there. Okay. Just die already. Die to Banshee's fire breath. Get roasted. Give me full experience. Okay, enemy phase. What do you got? We have a very angry um, Illyrian. Illyrian? Illyrian all just sounded better to me. Sounded better in my head, sounded better coming out. Okay, more mages, don't care. You better not block my path. Come on, healers. Don't block me, good. Illyrian, what are you doing? Master Wendell, you've returned. You still don't understand my actions? You are indeed a talented magician. You don't have a caring heart. That's why I didn't pass on Excalibur to you. Caring heart? For I had already decided that when the time was right, you would become my successor. But what you're doing now is betraying your own will. How are you different from Garnef? Comparing me with the Demon King Garnef? 
Please, Master, that's too much. Listen to me. As I unplug my mic. Garnif and Maroa were both Gato's most talented students. But Gato saw that Garnef's inner heart was weak, so he gave the Oratome and Kadain to Miroa. Being mad by jealousy, Garnef stole the Dark Orb from Gato and created the Mav spell. As a result, his heart was corrupted by the Dark Orb. Originally, Garnef was a youth with a strong sense of justice, but his jealousy led them down the path of destruction. Valerian, do you understand now? Master, that's all I can say to you. Hope you will understand. You still have many things to learn, and your will is too weak. Do you really intend on retreading Garnef's path? Master, I'm, I'm really sorry. I see my wrongs. Please forgive me. Larian, you killed Merrick. Bad boy. <laughs> you should begin by letting your strength be used by others. Understood? Yay, we recruit a little Larian. He's the best mage I've seen this chapter. Just let me start, just let me start right freaking now. I could do it, I could do it right now. I could just hit the reset button, I could just delete the footage, no one would ever know. The video is already messed up in a dozen ways anyway. I'm gonna have to go back and fix some editing. Thing is going wrong. Every single thing. It's probably a, it's probably a secret shop in this chapter too, and I didn't bring the the card. I think I left it on uh, Sheeta. So yeah, chapter's still going great. Nothing could possibly be going wrong about what's happening here. Salt in this desert. So much salt, and it's coming from one man. Me. Okay, is there anything else? Just those two treasure chests in the throne room. Okay. And after this guy, it should just be clerics left. Just clerics. On with getting even more defense. Good for you. Does it matter? Not really. Okay. Julian opens the chests. Marth runs to the throne, probably kills that cleric on the way. Where are they running? Where are they trying to run to? Are they trying to escape? That doesn't make sense. Who the heck is slamming doors in my apartment complex? And why? This is how I feel about that chapter. Just, just destroy them. Don't even care if it's only 10 experience per kill. I will defeat all of these clerics because I can. I'm gonna make Doga make the long walk over to do it, too. Get the crit. Please. Show them how dead they are. Just kill them however you can. I don't care. If they're just going to be moving on enemy phase anyway, it's just going to take time. That should block them. And that should block her. So all she can do is run to the throne. Or 
hug up next to Linda. Sure. Sure, sure. You know what, Marth? Just get the kill. Kill the cleric right now. We're not getting best ending. Watch staff reveals insides of buildings? That's weird. That's not a staff that I'm used to. Ten thousand gold. I'm pretty sure there's a secret shop like up here or something. Or maybe it's behind the throne over here. Either way, I'm not getting it because I don't have the number card on me. Had it with Sheeta, and I left it with Sheeta. Oh, shoot. Speaking of stuff on units. Uh, Doga, read the secret book. Um, who else had the secret book? Wendell, read the secret book. Marth sees the freaking throne. Get me out of here. Marth, can you hear me? I got you. Yes, I can hear you. Using the power of magic to talk to me, right? Yes. You summoned me. I will share with you my strength. What is it that you wish for? Gato, there's something I want you to tell me. Why has Harden changed so suddenly? Also, what's the power that's protecting him? That would be the Dark Orb. The Dark Orb is what's shielding Harden. Dark Orb? What's that? So I have no choice but to tell you. In this world, there exist five sacred orbs containing mysterious power. Aside from the light, star, and earth orbs you've already seen, there is also the life orb and what is known as the dark orb. The dark orb opposes the light orb, and it can greatly increase the strength of one's mind. It can give its owner courage, release them from suffering, increase their ambitions and wishes. And during battles, it can control the enemy's mind as well, and prevent them from moving. The Dark Orb is too dangerous for humans to use. It will react with humans' anger, disdain, and jealousy, causing them to increase tenfold. Eventually, it will destroy their soul and turn them into a monster. I don't know how, our, how Harden obtained the Dark Orb, but after that, his heart was consumed by darkness. How could the... Why? Harden shouldn't be such a weak man. He should be happy for being able to marry his beloved Hina. Why should he be jealous? Your Highness, humans aren't simple creatures. But regardless, as long as Harden has the Dark Orb, you cannot win. The only thing that can defeat the Dark Orb is the Light Orb. If you want to defeat him, you must come to me to obtain it. Gotcha, really? With the Light Orb, we can save Harden? If his heart has not been completely consumed, perhaps he can be saved. But that depends on whether Harden is really as strong-willed as you say. Thanks, Gato. Please, allow me to borrow the Light Orb. But I have one condition. If you can reach the Ice Dragon's temple where I am, I will hand over the Light Orb to you. That won't be an easy task. There's only been one human that has ever made it here. That's right, the hero, Henri. If you, like Henri, are a true hero, I will lend you the orb. Well, Marth, do you have the courage to challenge Henri's way? Yes, of course. Please, let me go there. I must obtain that light orb. And first, head directly north across the Marmotor Desert, then come to Thebes Tower. I will have somebody meet you there. Okay, I understand. I'll be there for sure. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what else to say about this chapter. That didn't go well. That didn't go as planned. But it is what it is. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. If you saw this episode, that means despite my many mistakes, meaning I have to edit this and watch my failures over and over again, 
If you actually are seeing this, that means I decided not to replay the chapter, and so you're getting the full experience. The true Iron Man experience, that's for sure. Thanks for watching, everybody. It's Mythosenith signing out.